Do you ever need to make deadly accurate and dustless cross cuts with a circular saw? Well today I'm going to show you a jig that will let you do just that. Hey guys and welcome to another episode of DP Shop Talk. Today we're going to be taking a look at a circular saw crosscut jig that lets you make deadly accurate crosscuts that are also dustless. So I designed this jig a few years ago when I was finding that a lot of the small installation jobs I was doing didn't require a miter saw since they were all 90 degree cuts. So this jig allows you to make precise cross cuts right in the space that you're working in since it doesn't create any dust. So it's doubly efficient. So I'll give you a quick rundown on how the jig works. So I've designed it to work with a Bosch 6.5 inch uh, 18 volt circular saw. Uh, but you can design it to, uh, to work with just about any saw. It doesn't have to be cordless. I like the cordless for convenience. Uh, but it, it doesn't have to be. Now I use a 40 tooth fine cut blade in there uh, since it uh, does a nice job with finished work. doesn't uh, splinter it or, or chip it out. Now I dadoed in two strips of UHMW or ultra high molecular weight plastic for the saw to ride on. So that sits just above the plywood surface. And then I also dadoed in a thicker strip of the same material for the groove in the bottom of the saw to register on. Now if your saw doesn't have a groove in the bottom, you can do the same thing. It would just mean using two thicker strips and putting them out at the sides of where the, uh, the base of the saw would be so that it captures the saw between the two rails rather than the single rail. So whichever kind of saw you have, you can still make the jig work. So basically the saw sits on top of, of that rail that I was talking about and on top of these and it lets it slide back and forth very easily and smoothly but also very accurately. I sized the, uh, uh, the cutout in the top of the jig so that the guard will catch on the top of it and it won't come down in the way of the, of the cut. So basically it works a lot like a miter saw would in that it slides back and forth and you hold the uh, the work against the fence and make the cut. So I'll quickly show you how the dust collection attachment works and then I'll show it all in action. So the dust collection attachment that I've designed for this saw uh, captures pretty much all of the dust since it encloses the space just above the blade which is where the where the cut is happening on on the crosscut jig. So it makes that enclosure so it concentrates a section where the sawdust is being spit up and, uh, and the suction comes right out the side here so it, uh, it really captures any dust that's spit upward. So it bolts onto the saw with a single machine screw and there's the dust port on the other side that takes a standard 35 millimeter uh, dust collection power tool connector. Now you can't really use this, uh, this dust collection attachment if you're doing freehand cuts like you'd normally do with, with a circular saw since it does obscure, obscure your view of, uh, of your cut line. But in this case with the crosscut jig that doesn't matter because your, uh, your cut mark is lined up with the kerf in the fence and you make your cut so it's, it's dead on every time. So this, this dust collection attachment is really specifically designed for the crosscut jig to make it dustless. So to use the jig, you simply take your cut mark that you want, line it up with whichever side of the kerf on the fence uh, you need, depending on where you want your waist, and uh, make sure the saw is clear of the work, start your dust extraction, and make the cut. So the resulting cut is clean, deadly accurate, and didn't make any dust. Like I mentioned earlier, this setup works great if you need to travel light or you need to work in a finished space where you can't afford to make any dust. Sometimes I'll also use it in the shop if I need to make a quick cut that needs to be accurate and I don't want to make any mess doing it. So if you think this jig would be helpful for you and the work that you do and you'd like to see more detail on it, let me know in the comments below. Also share what uh, jigs or methods have worked for you and what your ideas are. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And uh, like I mentioned, leave some comments, questions, or ideas below. Let's get some shop talk going. So thanks for watching, and until next time, let's talk shop.